Hey, hello, how are you? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel or if this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. Over here, I'm just a woman sharing my many journeys of a life. The majority of my content circles around me being a homeowner, sharing my journey of all the things that I do to make my house a home. So if you like DIY projects, if you like transformations, makeovers, <laughs> aesthetics, hauls, shop with me's, all things like home related, feel free to subscribe, join the tribe, we would love to have you. I will just give you a heads up that that's not 100% what my channel is, but it's right now the part that I'm having fun with sharing here on my channel. So come along, we have fun over here. We're, we're a nice little tribe. <laughs> In today's vlog, Miss Y'all, we're gonna do a little something different. Well, not really different, well, it's different for me. Let me be clear, it's different for me because I have never done this before. But when I say not really different for me, it's like this is the kind of stuff that I normally do, just like make stuff and like create stuff. But this in particular is going to be a first time, so we can do it together. I bought a canvas from Goodwill a couple of weeks ago and I think it was like $16, 50% off. So I got it for eight bucks, okay? But I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. It's a really nice size. And I bought it with the intention of revamping it, creating like my own very, very simple, neutral, textured wall art. So like I said, this is my first time doing something like this. So we just gonna do it together. Look, if y'all don't do it with me, that canvas in there is gonna be in the garage for quite some time. Y'all already know how it go, so. But I'm excited because I'm not just doing it to do it. I'm hoping to actually create something that I love, that I can have in my home, and that I can walk by all the time and say, I did that. So we're gonna do that. But before we get into the fun part of making art, I want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. If there is something that is interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network, which may not be locally available in your areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. So visit betterhelp.com slash glamorous wallflower. That's better H-E-L-P and join over a million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And although it already is a well worth it investment in yourself, I was able to get an extra 10% off for my tribe. So if you've been considering better help, considering therapy, thinking about it, hadn't made the move, nervous or anxious to meet somebody in person, this is a perfect way to maybe get your feet wet and just try it for yourself. So again, I wanna thank BetterHelp for reaching out to me to share this service. I really hope it helps somebody and I really hope that we all just continue to work on our mental health. Y'all know, well at least I really hope that you do, that I take mental health very, very seriously. I try to share the fun, the highs, the lows of all the journeys that I have, but I always intentionally try and put things in there that hopefully uplift give you reminders, um, whether it be self-love or positivity or the good vibes. If it's something as simple as just good vibes, it's always in the forefront of my content to be somebody or something that reminds you of the good. I have my own journey of growing up with therapy not even being a part of any conversation and not even being an option and not even being considered and now as an adult the more experienced i am in life in general i understand the importance of really focusing inward healing and understanding that you just cannot do it all alone 
I will leave all of their information in the description box below. If it's something that's been on your mind, I would definitely give it a try. And also I know that while we share a lot of fun, cheery, good content, right? I know it is also a very tough time of year for a lot of people. Believe me, I understand with everything that has been going on. I know a lot of people are having a lot of firsts in not the best way, so. I am sending you my love. I am sending you big hugs. I know that doesn't fix everything, but know that you're not alone. Um, and know that this season will come, this season will go. If you're still here, let's focus on continuing to move forward, focusing on the things you have control over and really making the best of what is in front of you and focusing on the good, versus the things that aren't necessarily so right. I know it's easier said than done. I know, I know, I know, I know. But you're in control of your life and only you have the ability to turn those thoughts into positive. So focus on that, if that helps at all, okay? I feel like I might have to go to the store to get something, but I really don't want to. So let's have a little challenge to try and see what we can do with what we have, okay? That's basically the story of my life, but I think I, I think I might have what we need, but come on, let's go, let's go check it out. Look, when you forgot that you cleaned your garage and you expected to see the big mess, look at me, I'm proud. But anyway, let's check it out, okay. Let's give an echo. Here is the canvas that I bought from Goodwill, and I know, like, just to give you a reference of size, I'm 5'10". So I'm not saying like it's like gigantic, but it is a really, really nice size. The picture on it is absolutely terrible, okay? A typical person would look at this and be like, I'm not about to buy this old raggedy piece of art. It's ugly, I don't like it. It's jacked up here. But what I see is, damn, this is a nice condition, large piece of DIY. No, the mount. Okay, anyway. Like I said before, it was $19.98 and it had that red sticker sale. So it was like 50% off. So I lie, I think I got it for $10. So yeah, I got it for 10 bucks. And let's see what we have for supplies. I feel like I had some plaster powder. You know, it's not like already mixed and stuff like you would normally buy from the store, but I think we could make that work. Now what I'm looking for right now is some white paint because I could just mix the mixture and just start kind of covering it. But I feel like, cause this color is so like deep, I think it'll be more difficult to try and create something on top of that. So I feel like painting this completely white first will give me like a blank slate, but I don't want to spray paint it. So I'm thinking paint paint. However, that's going to take longer to dry or spray paint, but I don't think I have. I'm going to have a paint cabinet at some point, like a whole cabinet for these type of tools, but that's down the line. What color is this? Let's go, okay. So just shaking this, I know it is not enough. So this actually isn't white, but it's like a clamshell, I don't know. Here's what I'm gonna do. I think I got what I need to at least start and if things go left, we'll just go to the store. Let's go ahead and set up for getting started and then we'll just go from there. I'm gonna turn my music on and listen to it.
When I sprayed like the first five sprays in that corner over there, y'all, it was so light, barely covering. I was like, yeah, I'm not about to spray paint it. So I just painted it white. And what's crazy is because I cleaned off the garage yesterday, this white paint, I was just gonna throw it away because it was literally just like thick and clumpy, but I made it work, it came through, it came through. One thing I do notice is that you can see that little separation ribbing in it, but because what I'm putting on top of here is going to be textured, it should be fine in covering that up. But here is the white canvas. Only downside is now we have to allow it to dry and I wanted to get this done like ASAP. So fingers crossed, let's just hope that it can dry soon. But do y'all kind of see why I did this so we can kind of work with a blank slate if I decide to do like any type of pattern or anything that you know touches the surface of the canvas I don't want to worry about running into that dark shade so we're gonna let this dry I'm already excited y'all this is a really nice size canvas now I can honestly truly throw that paint away <laughs> you served your purpose thank you so much let me get maybe closer for y'all as you can see it was a lot harder to paint this because it's a canvas and this is like that old school material type canvas so I had to like sop it up I had to get up in there to really really coat this the way I wanted to but we got it all white and we're gonna let it dry and I'll be back when it's dry next day okay so updates the canvas is completely dry as you can see completely dry all white and we're just gonna go for it we're just gonna go for it mini diy haul i went to dollar tree and got one of these bad boys one of these bad boys also saw this and i thought this might be able to make a pattern wooden wired brush it was a dollar so i just got it but this is where we're gonna mix in the plaster and just like i thought i knew i had it quick set Ooh, five minutes set time wow that is not good oh that's not good all right let's see
Are y'all ready to see this? I'm in love, okay? I am in love. Here she is. It's kind of bright. Let me turn the exposure down. Hold on. She's like 98% dry because it's just like a few tiny spots that still need to be complete. But because it's white, it's not really giving you everything that I'm looking at right now. But I really, really love it. Let me try and bring her back down to the ground. How about that? We'll put her against the black mat so you can see it a little bit. But there, there we go. Do you see what I'm seeing, honey? Here she is in all her glory, y'all. There's a lot of like inspo pics I pulled up and saved into my phone, but I didn't look at anything while making this because what I didn't want to do is just copy a image, but there's different like patterns and things that I like from different things that I've seen. And I just freestyled it and went with it. I love, love, love how it came out because it's so unique to me. Like it's not perfect. You got your grungy areas, you've got your shapes, you've got some of the texture. And it really is just like a work of art, y'all. I know y'all saw in the video where I was kind of trying one thing, taking it off, trying another thing. And that's really just the way it goes. But I love the way this turned out. Like I don't think y'all can really really see the beauty of this. Painting the base white was the perfect idea because it still kind of shines through in some areas. See what I mean? So I love this. I absolutely love this. I measured it and it is a 50 by 36 size canvas. And I wasn't gonna do this, but I think I'm gonna take this upstairs in the bedroom. I don't know y'all, but right now it is calling master bedroom. So let's just take it upstairs and just see. And also so y'all know the master bedroom has pretty much not been touched. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm chill, I ain't gonna put that joke in there. All right. Back at it again in the master. Literally just have the same things that have just lived at the top of the bed. I'm about to take all this down and we're just gonna simply kind of put it up there, see what it's given. We're not doing anything to the master today. This might be one of the last rooms I do if I'm being completely honest with you, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna prop y'all up. We're gonna empty that space and we're just gonna see if the new art has a new home. All right, let's do it. this video is just not gonna do it justice and you know I'm convinced and I've accepted that but here she is y'all and in my personal opinion this is the perfect spot for her like I think the proportion is perfect the sizing it's not too big it's not too small. I have not touched this room, y'all, because when I do, y'all know I'ma do it, right? <laughs> this was my DIY textured canvas art, literally a $10 piece of artwork. Just a little extra oomph for me to like maybe start actually sleeping in here, not on the couch, but that's a whole nother story. Um, <laughs> but tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think about the art. Tell me your honest opinions on how it turned out. 
this really like seriously inspired me y'all because there's so many <laughs> ideas in my head right now like I mean I could just as easy scrape that off and start it all over find another canvas add colors mix paint with the filler do designs like I could do so much <laughs> but with this being my first one I kept it very very simple I'm not gonna have these here I want them off the ground for some reason it, it bothers me that they anyway last thing I want to say not that anybody is ever gonna be as slow as me and try that but I would not recommend the quick dry filler Okay, I had to rush this and I didn't have the flexibility of retrying as many times as I would have liked. So although I still love the result, definitely don't use quick dry. Don't watch this video and try to do what I did, learn from me and get one that you can like make several mistakes, scrape it down and go back over it. Like I said, I still love the result, but I would not recommend the actual product that I used. So yeah, I think I've talked y'all heads off enough for one video already, have I? Okay. Um, <laughs> thank y'all for coming to hang out with me for yet another Vlogmas video, y'all. This whole giving y'all a schedule and telling y'all when I'm gonna post, although it's the first week doing it, but we're on track. It's something I've been scared to do because I'm somebody who does not like to say I'm gonna do something and then I do it. So I don't say it, but in not saying it, it gives me another excuse not to do it. So doing this honestly is a really good exercise for me and I feel accomplished when I do it. So we might carry that on going forward. Look, I can't make no promises, but I just wanted to share that. But yeah, look out for the next Vlogmas schedule this upcoming week so you can know what days, what times we're posting. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see y'all in the next video. Enough. Oh, yeah, acting up. Yeah, I was acting up. I bought a canvas. Canvas? Why can't you say that? I got y'all in reference real tight. I'm <laughs> trying to work. Oh, I'm judging. Whew, now I feel heavy. Where my empath set. <laughs> hey, how you doing, everybody? Let me whisper in your ear. Tell you something that you might like to hear. Because it's Sunday and it's long, so we about to chill out. Come on over into my house. Oh, that was freestyle. <laughs> that was freestyle. Promise you. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. Anyway. Girl, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this situation right here. I'm sorry, Maggie. I was girl, that was not intentional, okay? We always been cool, just remember that. Battery's dying. Same. I go I want good. I go I want good. I go I want good.